I'm making a video. And obviously, this is not my room. It has plants and stuff. I don't know. Well, I don't know why I'm doing this video outside of my room. This doesn't make sense, but I'm going with it. I'm wearing a Transformer shirt and blue shorts and look at that look at that beauty ain't that just a nice figure it's definitely one of the best figures in the line of figures and in, in, in the Cyberverse line. Well, it's Prime. The Ultimate Class Prime. Definitely better than the new Ultimate cr Class Prime. And there's the gimmick. It's got a pretty stupid gimmick, but it's fun. It's fun. It literally spins the Matrix. The Matrix of Leadership. Just... Just, just look at this thing. So basically what happens is if you press down on the top, which is detached from the box, which you would have to attach by itself, it would press a little tab on the right side. I don't know if you... Yeah, you can see that. Right there. There's a little tab right there. And then when you push it down, it just pushes down onto the tab. Like that. And then if you spin this wheel, it spins the matrix. And that is the matrix. If you don't think so, well, it does have blue around it, but if you just open it up, that's a matrix. That's a matrix if you have ever seen one. Unless it's the Michael Bay movies, then. Huh. So all you gotta do is just fold it back until you... Until it just stops. Okay. This is hard. It's a little floppy. See? So, we're gonna transform it with this out. And as you can see, it starts green. It's cool. I own the figure already. I don't know why I was looking at it. You just okay. So basically, you have to unfold the legs and also untab this part. Then when you unfold it, you have to untab the legs out and then fold these flaps down. Then you just Take these side panels and then fold them back to reveal the Autobot symbol. And you do that with both arms. And then you do the classic prime thing. You just take out these arms. You just flap them. And flip them. And then you just untab the roof. Flip down the head, which is just kind of flopped. Then you just... Take a better look at the back. As you can see, there's a little tab down there. You just unclip it or untab it like this. So now it looks like this. Then you just fold in and fold back. And tab. Then there are little notches right there. And then you can just tab it in. Right there. And you got prime. And then lastly, you just fold those arms down. Now you truly have Prime. And this gimmick still works. There is a gear in the back. It works less good, but still good. Okay, usually it doesn't work this well. Why are you why are you like doing this well because you're on camera? Well, maybe I just change. Not the matrix. Then it still has the same thing. And then if you push down this part, 
just like that. It's a button still. Then you just unfold it and put it in. There. You've got Prime. If you're a grown man watching this or a grown woman, and if you have a child, this is a great figure. You should buy it for them. Probably. I mean, like, it depends. Is Does he like Autobots or does he like Decepticons? I don't know. I don't know how old my viewers are. They can be full-grown men. They could be children. Probably children. If you are a child watching me, cool. You're a cool dude. And if you're a man, you're cool too. And if you're a woman, you're cool too. Cool people. Only cool people watch this. If you're not cool, it's okay. Not everyone's perfect. Okay, cool. So I feel like your child, if you have one, would enjoy this better than, well, the new Ultimate Class Prime. Because that thing, sure, its gimmicks are kind of cool. The spin and change action. Just look at it. Just, it looks, if you haven't seen it before, it looks not very, not, not very good. Like, I mean, like, the front, the grill isn't painted, or at least, at least part of it isn't painted. And, well, the robot mode, the truck mode, the truck mode, what did they do? It, it, it has such a thick space on the bed of the truck. It's like the Hasbro doesn't care anymore. That's my dog. Sure does like to do this. But I gotta say, this one's definitely a lot better. And if the child asks for the other prime, that's okay. You can get this at Walmart. Because that's the only place that actually still sells it. And also Amazon. Yeah. You got a neat gimmick and it looks good. The gimmick doesn't really hinder anything. And that's very surprising for this toy line. Because usually it does. Like a lot. So, should you go out to buy this figure? Well, it's one of the older figures. So if you didn't buy it then, then you would have to buy it online. They do have a Walmart though for pickup. So, you can buy it there. Amazon also has it. You can get it tomorrow if you want. Tomorrow. But, I got this. And also another Optimus figure. For $15. So, two for the price of half of this. Pretty cheap, right? Find good deals. It's cool. The only complaint I gotta say is that this can accidentally, you can accidentally, well, push it down sometimes. And also the window kinda looks weird. But considering the rest of the toy line, it's, it's not this. It's not this. Get out of here. Okay. So, should you buy this? Probably, if you're a fan of Transformers. If you like the gimmick, then you should probably get this. I mean, like, it's fun. It's got a pretty cool transformation. I would say this is a good figure. And, yeah, it, definitely you should buy it. The Ultra Class one, you can also buy. I mean, like, it also looks good. Just don't buy the Warrior Class version. It's for your own good. I mean, like, no, no, they took away the elbow, the elbow articulation, it's gone. So, well, good day and goodbye.